Mental Health First Aid, Wikipedia Article Audio Mental Health First Aid is a training program that teaches members of the public how to help a person developing a mental health problem, experiencing a worsening of an existing mental health problem or in a mental health crisis. Like traditional first aid, mental health first aid does not teach people to treat or diagnose mental health or substance use conditions. Instead, the training teaches people how to offer initial support until appropriate professional help is received or until the crisis resolves. While first aid for physical health crises is a familiar notion in developed countries, Conventional first aid training has not generally incorporated mental health problems. Rationale History Research on mental health first aid training Mental health first aid in Australia Mental health first aid in England Mental health first aid in the USA Mental health first aid in Canada Mental Health First Aid in the United Arab Emirates And Notes Mental health problems are common in the community, so members of the public are likely to have close contact with people affected. However, many people are not well informed about how to recognize mental health problems, how to provide support and what are the best treatments and services available. Furthermore. Many people developing mental disorders do not get professional help or delay getting professional help. Someone in their social network who is informed about the options available for professional help can assist the person to get appropriate help. In mental health crises, such as a person feeling suicidal, deliberately harming themselves, having a panic attack or being acutely psychotic, Someone with appropriate mental health first aid skills can reduce the risk of the person coming to harm. There is also stigma and discrimination against people with mental health problems, which may be reduced by improving public understanding of their experiences. The Mental Health First Aid program was developed in Australia by Betty Kitchener and Anthony Horm in 2000. Since 2003, this mental health first aid program has spread to a number of other countries. By 2016, 1.7 million people had been trained in mental health first aid worldwide. A number of studies have been carried out showing the people who are trained in mental health first aid showed improved knowledge, confidence, attitudes, and helping behavior. A meta-analysis of data from 15 evaluation studies concluded that mental health first aid training increases participants' knowledge regarding mental health, decreases their negative attitudes, and increases supportive behaviors toward individuals with mental health problems. There has also been research to develop international guidelines on the best strategies for mental health first aid. Mental health first aid training has been included in the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's National Registry of Evidence-Based Programs and Practices. In Australia, mental health first aid training is run by the not-for-profit charity Mental Health First Aid International. A range of training courses are offered. By 2015, Mental health first aid training had been received by over 350,000 people, which is more than 2% of the Australian adult population. Mental health first aid training programs in Australia have won a number of awards for excellence including Mental health first aid came to England in 2007 and was developed and launched under the Department of Health. National Institute for Mental Health in England as part of a national approach to improving public mental health. Mental Health First Aid England was launched as a community interest company in 2009. MHFA England offer a range of courses. Since 2007, 
more than 114,000 mental health first aiders have been trained in England and more than 1,600 people have trained as mental health first aid instructors. The Department of Health encouraged all employers in England to provide mental health first aid training as one of three steps in its 2012 No Health Without Mental Health implementation framework. In 2016 mental health first aid was recommended for all workplaces by the charity business in the community. In 2008, the National Council for Behavioral Health in partnership with the Missouri Department of Mental Health and the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, brought mental health first aid to the United States. Since 2008, more than 500,000 people have been trained in mental health first aid USA by an instructor base of more than 9,000. There are people trained in Mental Health First Aid USA in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and Guam. The course is offered to a variety of audiences, including hospital staff, employers, and business leaders, faith communities and law enforcement. In 2012, Youth Mental Health First Aid was introduced in the United States to prepare trainees to help youth ages 12-18 that may be developing or experiencing a mental health challenge. Specialized versions of Mental Health First Aid USA including the Veterans, Public Safety, Higher Education, Rural and Older Adults modules and a Spanish version of the Youth and Adult Curriculum are also available. Mental Health First Aid USA was included in President Barack Obama's plan to reduce gun violence and increase access to mental health services. In 2014, Congress appropriated $15 million to SAMHSA to train teachers and school personnel in youth mental health first aid. In 2015, an additional $15 million was appropriated to support other community organizations serving youth. The Mental Health First Aid Act of 2015 has broad bipartisan support and would authorize $20 million annually for training the American public. Fifteen states have made Mental Health First Aid a priority by appropriating state funds, including Texas which allocated $5 million. Mental Health First Aid debuted in Canada in 2007, and has operated under the leadership of the Mental Health Commission of Canada since early 2010. MHFA Canada offers a range of courses, which, upon completion, certifies a participant in Mental Health First Aid. Different instructor courses are required to become a MHFA basic youth, seniors, veteran community, First Nations or Northern Peoples instructor. The duration of these courses vary from five to six days. First Nations and Northern People versions require two instructors slash facilitators to deliver the course. Since 2007, more than 300,000 Canadians have been trained in mental health first aid, and more than 1,200 people have been trained as instructors. Mental Health First Aid debuted in the UAE December of 2017. MHFA UAE operates under the leadership of the Lighthouse Center for Wellbeing, an outpatient mental health clinic in Dubai composed of more than 25 licensed psychologists. The Lighthouse is the only accredited provider of MHFA in the UAE. MHFA UAE offers two courses. To register for a course, visit http colon slash slash www.lighthousearabia.com. Standard Mental Health First Aid is a 12-hour face-to-face course for adults to learn to assist other adults. Culturally adapted versions of this course are available for Chinese and Vietnamese Australians. 
E-learning and blended versions of the standard course have been tailored for a range of professional groups, including pharmacists, the legal profession, financial counselors, medical students, and nursing students. Youth Mental Health First Aid is a 14-hour face-to-face course for adults to learn to assist adolescents. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Mental Health First Aid is a 14-hour face-to-face culturally adapted course for adults to learn to assist Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander adults. It is run by Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander instructors. Teen Mental Health First Aid is a 3.5-hour classroom-based course that teaches high school students in years 10 to 12 how to provide mental health first aid to their friends. Older Person Mental Health First Aid is a 12-hour face-to-face course for adults to learn to assist people aged 65+. plus. Gold Achievement Award 2007 the winner of the Mental Health Promotion Mental Illness Prevention Program or Project category at the MHS Conference, Suicide Prevention Australia, 2005 Life Award, Victorian Public Health Programs Award for Innovation, 2006, Enterprise and Resourcefulness Award, NSW Aboriginal Health Awards 2010, Silver Achievement Award for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Program Mental Health Promotion or Mental Illness Prevention Program or Project Category at the MHS Conference 2010, Silver Achievement Award for Youth Mental Health First Aid Program, the MHS, Mental Health Promotion or Mental Illness Prevention Program Category, 2014, the MHS Medal. 2017. Standard MHFA, a two-day course which qualifies a participant to become a mental health first aider, Youth MHFA, a two-day course which qualifies a participant to become a youth mental health first aider. This course is designed for those who are working, living or interacting with young people. It was first launched in England in 2010 and revised and relaunched in October 2013, Youth MHFA Schools and Colleges, a one-day course which is based on Youth MHFA and designed to fit into school training timetables, Armed Forces MHFA, a two-day course which qualifies participants to become an Armed Forces Mental Health First Aider. This course was designed for the whole armed forces community, including veterans, serving personnel, and their families. It was launched 2013. In March 2016 the research findings from an evaluation report conducted by the University of Gloucestershire into the effectiveness of the armed forces MHFA training will be published, MHFA Light a three-hour introductory awareness course launched which is based on the standard MHFA course. MHFA Lite was launched in 2011. There is also a light version of the Youth MHFA course, MHFA Instructor Training, a seven-day course accredited by the Royal Society for Public Health to qualify as a mental health first aid instructor who can deliver one or all of the two-day courses. MHFA Basic, a two-day 12-hour course, MHFA for adults who interact with youth, a two-day 14-hour course, MHFA Seniors, a two-day 14-hour course, MHFA Veteran Community, a two-day 13-hour course, MHFA Northern Peoples, a three-day 18-hour course, MHFA First Nations, a 3-day 20-hour course, MHFA Inuit, a 3-day 24-hour course, MHFA Public Safety, an 8-hour course including 90 minutes online, MHFA Instructor Training, a course which allows the participant to become a mental health first aid. Instructor Standard Adult MHFA a 12-hour training which qualifies a participant to become a mental health first aider. 
This course is designed for those who are working, living or interacting with other adults, adolescent MHFA, a 14-hour course which qualifies a participant to become a youth mental health first aider. This course is designed for those who are working, living or interacting with young people.